Okay, another supplemental lecture by Dr. Martin. Uh, today I'm going to cover, uh, in this um, video clip, I'm going to cover two phyla. The first one is the phylum Nematoda, and their common name uh, are roundworms. So remember the last group we talked about were the platyhelminthes. They were also worm-shaped, but they were flattened. Um, these are worm-shaped, but they have a round uh, cross-section. Some of these are free-living. Some are parasitic. This group has three tissue layers. And we see an advancement here. Uh, it has what is called a true coelom, C-O-E-L-O-M. A coelom is a body cavity that is lined with mesoderm. Now, I actually misspoke here. These do not have a true sebum. They have a body cavity. And in this cross section here, uh, this is the sebum, but it's called a pseudo sebum because it's not lined with uh, the particular tissue type um, that I mentioned here, which is mesoderm. In this cross section, this represents the digestive tube and the tissue is endoderm. This is a cavity, um, but again, it's not lined on both sides with mesoderm, which is indicated here in pink. Mesodermal tissue becomes muscle and bone uh, ultimately. And this outer layer is what we call the ectoderm. Now, one another characteristic here is that we actually do have um, an advanced, or advancement, I'll say, in the digestive system. in that we have two openings. So there is both a mouth and an exit or the anus. All right, a um, couple other characteristics. These are very numerous in the soil. They tend to be rather small, uh, so you would need um, a dissecting microscope to see them. We saw a lot of these when we looked at the creatures that were in um, or on the surface of lichens, and they also, you can find them in mosses also. Okay, one last characteristic, I'll make this number six. They are important decomposers. Remove that soil and decomposers. Okay, so that's the, um, I guess, the fourth group that we've covered. The next group I want to talk about are also um, worm shaped, and these are the uh, phylum annelida, or the annelids. So I'm going to erase this. And these are, we're going to use the earthworm as a representative of this group. So, annelida. So, these are called annelids. And they include 
earthworms, which everybody knows about since we dissected these, uh, but also leeches, which you probably have also heard of. Now, this is actually the first group that has a true coelom uh, in that it, it has a cavity that's lined on both sides um, with mesoderm. These are segmented worms, and they're believed because of that they share a characteristic with the arthropods, and it's believed that they're uh, rather closely related uh, to those. Has a closed circulatory system. digestive system passes through all segments. Some of the structures that are repeated within each segment are um, some structures that are actually primitive kidneys. as well as uh, nervous tissue. Okay, I think that's probably everything that I wanted to cover with this group. Again, we um, have a group that's uh, bilateral has bi bilateral symmetry. Has three tissue layers. A true coelom and a digestive system with two openings. The next group we're going to cover, and this will be in the next video clip, are the mollusks.